You'll never know this, this is literally the fourth time I'm making this video. If it doesn't work now, I swear to God, I give up. I'm never doing it again. Now, I've been reading a book lately called Outwitting the Devil, written by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill is a guy who wrote Think and Grow Rich, seminal book about personal development, etc. Outwitting the Devil is written in literally like 1938, when the Nazis were doing their thing, etc, etc. What this book is about, and I found it very fascinating, is what he like interviews the devil, and the devil basically says, look, I control the whole world, I control all of society, this is how I do it. I take human beings when they're children, when they're children and they're too young, they don't have the frame of reference, they don't have the life uh, experience, they don't have the knowledge, the wisdom, the intelligence to know what I'm doing. And I mold them in a way so that they lose all ability to think for themselves. This is how I do it. I place them in an education system in which they are just rewarded. They're rewarded for regurgitating facts, facts that are given to them as true by the establishment, by the institution, and in which they're punished for independent thought. I do that year after year after year, until by the time they leave school, they are scared of thinking for themselves. They don't think for themselves, they let basically Big Brother think for them, whether or not that's the media, friends, family, etc. They, they give away their sovereignty, their personal power, to somebody else and let that other person do the thinking and you have a whole world in which everybody's actually doing that and i do it in a very clever way because i as i'm raising them to basically follow me the devil basically being like the symbol of like fear and uh fear uh what's the word i'm looking for procrastination judgment that sort of thing while they're actually doing that i let them think that they're actually working towards my competitor his competitor actually being god but actually they're really working towards me then we have a world where nobody actually thinks for themselves everybody and they become something called a drifter and like a drifter is someone who's like floating along at sea you're floating along at sea but you're not like a boat with an oar that's moving towards a destination this destination that you're carving out for yourself you're just like going wherever the sea takes you but apparently the devil's actually the sea so if you're going wherever the sea takes you you're going to go wherever the devil takes you and then you'll have situations like in uh, nazi germany when everyone was murdering the jews because everyone's like hey screw it like you know let's just murder the jews or whatever kind of injustices have happened more recently i don't know black people trans people gay people whatever 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 but yeah the devil doesn't want to see you rise up and be the best version of yourself so like if you say you know something i'd really like to learn to act and it's not even like you want to be in hollywood or something it's like i would just like to learn to act because it'd be really cool to act like the devil's like nah, -uh. <clears throat> we don't want you to learn to act so what we're actually going to do is we're going to place you in a situation in which you're going to be like huh can i actually act like do i actually have what it takes to do that i don't think that i do so what i actually should do is just sit here and do my very nice my very respectable my very normal nine to five occupation and cast such stupid thoughts uh, about doing any kind of silly thing like acting which might put me in situations where people will judge me cast those thoughts out of my head coincidentally uh the devil basically says that the fear of what people think is like the biggest epidemic like uh, that courses through mankind and it's his biggest tactic to use to actually bring people to their knees and what's interesting is i agree the fear of what people think is like the biggest it's one of the biggest issues that people have, like everywhere, like this fear of judgment. So my God, how many years have I spent suffering by now? Funny thing is people think I don't care what other people think, like historically, nah, care very greatly about what other people think far too much. And what is interesting is, so like with the guys I coach with regards to dating, something I've noticed, there's like literally a correlation between like, female success and uh, caring what people think about you. The guys who are absolutely the worst, they literally care 1,000 billion trillion percent about what other people think. And it's like, they don't have any kind of personal flavor whatsoever. They're like, hello, I'm a nice man and this is me. And I drive a very nice car and I wear suits and I wear shirts 
and my shirts are folded into my into my belt buckle and my shirts are ironed very nicely and um, I have a very stable savings account and whatnot and um, I have a pension plan at work and I would never disrespect a woman in any way because I'm a very nice individual. I'm a nice guy. That's the kind of energy that they have. And then they're like, oh, Kieran, like, none of these women want me. What do I actually do? And it's like, well, you know, be yourself. And they're like, no, I am being myself. It's like, no, you're actually not. You're being a watered down, neutered version of yourself that you think is actually going to be attractive, but that's not really who you really are. You haven't really let your um, spice out. So then you have these uh, guys called bad guys, bad guys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? You got bad boys, eh? And then the guys who are coached, they go, oh, why do women go for these guys? Like, I don't know, maybe the man's like a drug dealer or something like that. Or, you know, some sort of morally, morally, morally questionable, morally questionable guy who isn't treating women well. And the bad guys are like, oh, why, why do women like these guys? What's going on? Uh, why do women like these men? Women are fucking stupid, they're fucking stupid. Why did I like men like this and not like me? And the thing is, these men, these quote unquote bad boys, the thing that they've got going for them is that they're basically like an arrow moving towards a target. That's literally what they're like. They're like a ship heading somewhere. You know, like a bullet firing from a gun, they're going somewhere. And that like kind of, this is where I'm going energy is inherently very attractive. Whereas the nice guys don't have that energy at all. And that energy isn't attractive. So even though Napoleon Hill is talking about the devil, and like, I think he's talking in a right and wrong sort of context. I don't know if I know in terms of like right and wrong, you know, if there is an actual devil that's preventing people from quite and quite being themselves. Well, in a right and wrong context, but what I do believe is that if you don't think for yourself, you actually become an aimless drifter. And if you become an aimless drifter, that will actually negatively impact you in a massive multitude of ways. But yeah, read the book though. It is called Outwitting the Devil, and it's a very, very, very fascinating read. Ciao.